The Vertec HT series cone comes in a carrying case. Here's the cone, uh, an opening in the case for a couple of sleeves, an opening in the case for some tips. You can keep your O-ring kit in here, and you can even carry around a replacement back shell. Today I'm going to show you how to open a cone up and remove and replace the various parts. Holding the cone secure, you can unscrew the tip, that would be this here, and a pore pressure element. Unscrew the tip and pull the sleeve off. And we'll do that, show that on the next step. There's the sleeve coming part way off. There's the tip and the pore pressure element. And here's the O-ring that is visible on the surface and a couple of O-rings underneath on the sleeve area. Once the sleeve itself has been removed, you're looking at our new style sleeve gauging area. It actually entails a sleeve load cell separate from the tip load cell and it's fully enclosed now for protection from the elements. Previous versions had the strain gauging right on the outside of the mandrel, where it's prone to damage, it was prone to moisture. Uh, this package is, is far more stable and should provide you with much longer life. Inside the bottom of the sleeve there's a retaining ring with two O-rings and we do recommend changing that with every second or third sleeve change. They tend to get a little out of round after hundreds of feet of pushing and if you have any trouble with the sleeve operation always try a new sleeve and a new retaining ring before just assuming the cone itself is bad. Here is the pore pressure element separate from the tip. and a closer shot of the O-rings uh, under the sleeve, as again, this is an extra